Let's see how we can turn used tires into a raw material. Each year, there's around 2 billion tires that reach the end of their useful life. Tires aren't biodegradable and it requires a lot of effort to recycle them. They can be reprocessed and reused up to a point, but not endlessly. The end-of-life tires, or so-called ELTs, are difficult to eliminate or recycle due to their complex mix of materials that are all compacted together. Notably, the natural and synthetic rubber, fiber, and wire. In most cases, ELTs are either dumped in landfills or incinerated in cement factories. Growing tires in landfills releases toxins, pollute the soil and the water. Burning the tires can be considered as a better solution as the heat generated can be converted into a cheap source of energy. And this is how 50% of the used tires in Europe are eliminated. However, burning used tires still produces pollutants that are harmful to people and the planet. Also, all the materials in the tires are lost. So what can we do to better manage and create value out of used tires? Meet Tires Recycling Solutions, a startup founded in 2013, dedicated to bring used tires back to the industry with a high added value. TRS collects and transforms used tires into a precious rubber powder to give them a new life. Since 2013, a dedicated team of around 20 people, including PhD students, chemists, and scientists, have been working tirelessly to produce a natural rubber powder that can be used as a raw material in multiple industries. They developed their own machines and several revolutionary technologies which are now protected by numerous people. How does it work? In short, you cut out the side, as the founder calls it, the meat suite, and focus on the heart of the tire, what he calls the profile. A dedicated machine then shreds it into long flat pieces before crushing it to extract several components from the tire. A highly specialized water pressure system is then used to pulverize tire threads, which allows to remove steel and synthetic fibers, making it more attractive for tire producers. The residual substance undergoes a few more steps and boom, the magic happens. At the end of this highly complex process, you get a super thin rubber powder made of more than 15 different chemicals. This unique chemical is then sold to other players who use it as a raw material to build roads, shoe insoles, razors, or make fresh new tires. Every day, TRS receives between 1,300 and 1,400 tires at the main factory in Yvonne, Switzerland. TRS is growing fast and has been expanding to other parts of the world, notably in the Middle East and China. About 5,000 tons of natural rubber powder is sold every year. All of it is produced by transforming unwanted used tires without using any additional resource. This has a significant impact as the waste is turned into raw material. So next time you buy new shoes, check if they're made out of used tires. That's a wrap for today. Stay tuned for the next episode.